I love Woman of Fire so much. If, you, if, if Minari is the only Yoon Yoo Jung film you've seen, I'm not sure you want to jump straight into Woman of Fire. <laughs> Woman of Fire, good. All right, time. <laughs> You're watching Movie Talk. Thank you. I'm Jason. And I'm Pierce. Welcome to our show. We are thrilled to be back and to be introducing to you one of our favorite films, Woman of Fire, Hanyo. If you have ever been interested in Yoon Yoo Jong, and particularly now after she's had her historic and very well-deserved win, uh, this is her debut film and she is really terrific in it. And of course, Yoon Yoo Jong mentioned Kim ki -young in a speech and- Calling uh, a genius director. Genius director. So, uh, yes, directed by Kim Ki-young. Yoon Yoo Jung, uh, in her debut role, plays Myung-ja, who is a girl from the countryside who comes up with her friends to Seoul, and she ends up working as a housekeeper, where there's uh, two children and a couple, and they run a chicken farm. At one point, he impregnates Myung-ja, and, um, and then from there, the family fears scandal. They kind of end up being sort of controlled by Myung-ja. Why watch? Right, so it shares a lot of similarities with uh, The Housemaid, released in 1960. There are, of course, Im Sang Su's remake of The Housemaid, which incidentally also starts Yoon Yo Jong. Right. Also, uh, as a housekeeper, but the older housekeeper in this one. Right, right, right. It gets a little bit confusing. I think, yeah, with The Housemaid, is particularly, we, we, we talk a lot about how that kind of influenced Parasite. But like with Mo Woman of Fire, I think that we see the big influence on Pak Chan Wook. Um, yeah, I totally agree. Yeah. Absolutely adores Kim Ki Young, just like Bong Joon Ho, and for maybe slightly different reasons and I think kind of this kind of manic and very lurid um, uh, style of Woman of Fire you can really find that in Pak chan work so when you see some if you like films like Thirst or The Handmaiden uh, I think I think you definitely need to check out Woman of Fire. Indeed and both filmmakers they focus very much on style they're not realist filmmakers and you can see that uh, it's certainly in Woman of Fire it's a visually incredibly rich oh, film. Absolutely and we're gonna get into that. Key point number one um, and we mentioned uh, The Housemaid, the first version. I mean, how do you think it's different and what similarities are there, do you think, Pierce? Well, uh, the, the, the obvious one, obviously, is that the first one is black and white. This one is in color and not just any color. It's, this is really extremely uh, strong, lurid, strong colors. But so that's one of the differences. I think really with all these different housemaid versions. It's the same story, he changes the images a little bit, but it's often the same symbols. But I think the really interesting thing is how he uses the same story to reflect where society is at that moment. So it's society in the early 60s, society in the early 70s, society in the early 80s, and how this kind of cosmopolitanism um, and this change between kind of like progress, traditionalism and modernity has kind of gotten starker and starker um, over those times. What do you think, Jason? Yeah, no, that's a really interesting point because in the, the first Housemaid film, it's, it's very much a kind of social commentary uh, in terms of like, this idea of trying to kind of climb up the social ladder. And you see that kind of playing out uh, in Parasite as well. Key point number two. Yeah, this becomes rats, uh, becomes a running motif in the film. It's interesting, I mean, well, what is the symbolic value of the, of the rat? I mean, there's, you know, I think there's this idea of like the greed, also this kind of idea of being a disease carrier, I suppose. It's kind of, and to be very Freudian, if I may, there's Here that mixture. I mentioned the Freudian connection. There's that mixture of the, yeah. of the drive, the, of the life and death desire, or kind of very, very kind of uh, macabrely kind of within a rat. So I think it's a really perfect Kim ki <laughs> symbolic device. Yeah, and it's used very, very well. Key point number three. Um, so Myungja kind of loses it, right? Uh, and kills the baby. <laughs> and it's, I just love the way he edits the films. He throws in this like crazy imagery, these like montages as well. Like when you're watching the film for the first time, it comes across as really quite intense and you can't really make out what he's trying to say. 
Uh, but uh, it's one of those films you can watch time and time again, and it's incredibly layered, and you can certainly see why, you know, Pak Chan and Bong Joon-ho, they, they really admire his films. Key point number four. Why don't we talk about the colors a little bit in, in Women of Fire? I, yeah, I, particularly red, right? Yeah, yeah, they're, 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 there's all this kind of red and blue um, in, in the film, which I really adore. You have like these lights in the living room, which is literally like blue lights and red lights, and they get kind of mixed up, and you have this red bowl she keeps using that ends up being this kind of aphrodisiac, and so the red is a symbol of, yeah, like desire and kind of carnal pleasure, but also kind of like violence, and it's quite foreboding, and you have all this blue, yeah. this placid, Calm blue, but actually, if I if I may be very bold and plug my my old website, here we go, um, here we go. No, just I, it's you not can't active resist. anymore. But what I reason I want to do is because I, I I love I love Woman of Fire so much that I use the still from it to make the, the logo of my website. So I love that red and that blue. I just the whole film is full of images like that. So uh, yeah, t you don't need to visit my website. Pop quiz. What is a special password Myungja and her friend use? I don't know. Yeah, uh, pass. <laughs> oh, 3031. 31 floor building? Oh, yeah, that's why, yeah. Thank I you. didn't realize that was, that was a password. I thought that was their dream. In the first photo montage, what is the last image? Is it um is is it like the moon or something? The earth? Or is it, is it like is it just the image of the projector? What gesture does Tongshik make when he sees Myungja? Uh, I don't know, he insults her? Dismisses her? Oh, he holds, he, he holds his nose, doesn't he? Yes. He pinched his nose, yeah. Oh, God, I didn't know that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Woman of Fire is a lurid and deranged domestic thriller from the brilliant mind of Kim Ki-young with a scintillating debut performance of Academy Award winner Yoon Yo-jung. Woman of Fire is an eccentric, intense Kim Ki-young film featuring a wonderful, unforgettable performance by Yoon Yo-jung. Thanks for watching. If you're watching us here now on YouTube and if we've whetted your appetite for the film, please do check out the film. There's a link below in the description. Woman of Fire! Catch you! Fire. Catch you. Catch you.